In this video we're going to look at how you create basic shape cabinets. To design a cabinet in Polyboard we always start with a basic shape. This is the shape of the plan view of the cabinet. It can be anything from a simple box to a complex form. Let's take a look at the basic shapes and how they work. First of all I'm going to go up to the top menu and click on New Cabinet. In the New Cabinet dialog box we have several options. We also have a list of parameters here. You can modify them here, but these exact same parameters are listed in the Properties menu of the Cabinet Edit Mode, which is where we're going to edit them. So first on our list of model options is the Box Cabinet, with Height, Width and Depth parameters. We've also got listed an L-shaped cabinet and an Angle Cabinet. This is a corner cabinet with a front face at 45 degrees. An option to create a free shape cabinet. We'll look at this feature in other videos, and also from a file. If you click on that, you can open an existing cabinet that you've made and use this as the starting point for your design. Let's go back to the L-shaped cabinet and click OK. So making sure I've clicked outside the cabinet, I can go over to the Properties menu here and change the height, width and depth parameters. Let's reduce the height slightly. You can see that change reflected in the cabinet edit mode. You can also down here remove panels if you wish Let's take the left side out, select No, and put it back in. And for the L-shaped cabinet and also the angle cabinet, we have some parameters here for left side and right side. This is the left side width and the right side width shown by these dimensions here. I'm going to change the left side, make it slightly narrower, 300 millimeters. You can see that change reflected. Let's click Undo. Now there's also a proportional dimension section. When we edit the dimensions here, there's no impact on whether this is set to yes or no. However, let's just turn it to no now uh, and change the overall cabinet dimensions. I'm gonna make the depth 800 millimeters. So the depth here is reduced by 800 millimeters. The left side has still stayed at 500 millimeters. That's with proportional dimensions set to no. Let's undo that change it to yes and now reduce the depth to 800 again so we halved the depth this time the left side has halved as well so with proportional dimensions set to yes if you make a change to the overall cabinet dimensions it will proportionally increase or decrease this left and right side value equally if we change the width the right side would be affected thanks very much for watching goodbye